Working on an AC from the 90s, we can see that our contact is engaged. Right now the power's off. I'm gonna go over here to turn the power on. No humming or anything. And we can check our incoming voltage. And we've got 248 across L1 and L2. And you can see our contactors pulled in. So we're we know we have 24 volts, but if we go down and put one test lead on the non-shunt side and the other to ground, I've got zero. If I go T1 to T2 or T3, and I've got no volts. And if you look closely at the contactor, you can see it's pitted. So I'm gonna turn the power off. Power off. And then this check right here, set it to continuity. And I'm just gonna go from the bottom to the top and I should be reading something, but I'm reading OL. So that's what I should be reading right now. Almost one ohm on the shunt. That's what I should be reading here. So contact is bad, needs replaced. Um, one thing you wanna make sure you don't do is rub the hot 24 volt against any metal because then that'll blow up the um, transformer. So while we're replacing this, I'm just gonna um, disconnect the power, the low voltage power that is, the 24 volt. Once I disconnect these, that contactor will disengage and I don't have to worry about um, blowing up a transformer. And then I just cap those off till I got the new contactor in. When replacing the contactor, here are some beginner tips. Take a picture of the wiring setup to know that it worked before, in the past, and just match up the wires from the picture. Here we have eyes on the high voltage leads. The contactor I'm swapping this with is the same voltage and same amperage, which is essential. But the lug nuts are a little different, which is why I cut off the eyes and strip the bare wire. Make sure to torque the lug nuts tight. The best way to do this is using a torque wrench screwdriver. But if you've done enough of these, with the torque wrench you can get the feel for how much the lug nuts need torque. If you under torque the wires, they will fail prematurely. If you over torque it, it will just break some plastic on the contactor and should still function. This is sped up 10 times. The manual process of replacing this contactor by hand, no drill, and stripping everything out took me exactly 10 minutes. Now we just hook back up our low voltage, just being cautious that the 24 volt is live. And if you're worried about it, you can always turn the thermostat off upstairs. You hear it clicking. You want to twist those to the wires start twisting themselves. Now I'm just going to turn the power back on and make sure it fires up before I button everything up. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> no, you can't. I just thought it was actually I knew it was going to do that. <laughs> We've got everything back together. I'm not going to gauge up on this. I'm going to go inside and take a temperature drop, but we're beer can cold. And we saved the unit. Back to cooling. 94. That's all it was. Saved an old system and some basic 
contact or troubleshooting for you new guys and girls out there that are wanting to get better at your craft. Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching. My name's Dave. See you on the next one.